just went to this X nail bar to get our gel manicure removed. It's super cheap. It's like $6.50 just to remove it. And I removed my regular pedicure for free. The people there, their names were Ame and Amy. Although we spoke to them in our broken Mandarin, but they were so nice and they were very understanding. Definitely come and check them out if you need to get your nails done. We are at Paris Baguette because someone is hungry. Tell me this doesn't remind you of like the purge. We are now in Koreatown. We decided to just drop by because we were in the area. So we might as well go to a Korean grocery store called H Mart to get our Asian supplies. So we're going to get some kimchi from a legit kimchi shop. This one, fresh kimchi, 5 Yeah, let's do that. We can make some more kitchen. But we don't have the ketchup on this. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow, these are all for shabu shabu. Sailor Moon ice cream. We are back at home and we are preparing dinner. But I just wanted to show you that we bought kimchi from H Mart because we feel like eating legit kimchi. Like I know they also sell kimchi in like regular supermarket, Jonga brand. Yeah, yeah Jonga brand is what it's called. We also have that in Malaysia, and I do really like how it tastes. So I wanted specifically to get fresh kimchi from the Korean Mart and oh my gosh, it smells legit. Our dinner is super simple. We have brown rice at the bottom, prawn omelette and kimchi. Mm. Mm. I bought Angry Orchard apple cider, crisp apple. This is my favorite one. I said that the packaging is really like all torn yeah. up, but oh well, the taste is what matters. This does not taste like apple cider. It tastes like more apple and less like alcohol. That's why I like it so much. Maybe it doesn't need deep fried. Maybe. Okay, today is Monday and we don't have much plan other than going over to Soho to get our Muji slippers. So oh. apparently it's so apparently it's really hard to find house sleeper. We checked online including our Amazon and there's no like cheap cheap stuff. But yesterday night Rebecca stumbled on a YouTube video and we found out that Muji's house sleepers are only 490. I have to check how much it costs in Muji Malaysia because I don't remember it being like 20 ringgit. Okay so I just checked on uh, Muji's Lazada page. Um, their regular linen soft sleeper is 3390 and the one that we want to get jersey knitted slipper is 2373 which I guess is comparable to the one that we're gonna get after conversion. I don't remember it being that cheap otherwise why didn't I get it when I'm in simulation anyway um, that's what we're gonna do. We're at the champion store right now and they actually offer embroidery service so patches start from $7 and embroidery service, it starts from $15. After getting our Muji stuff, we are now in like this snack shop. I don't even know what it's called. I need to add it. I wish there were more food stalls. I think that there's one at the central market. It's just that it's closed because it's Labor Day. Yeah. Curiosity, we don't know what's going on, so we just stopped uh, by like uh, a random lady with kids, and we just asked her like, "Hey, uh, just curious, like what's going on?" But she doesn't seem very friendly. Yeah, she was just like, "It's Labor Day." It's Labor Day. I mean, how would we know Labor Day to us is like just another public holiday. We don't have festivals like that. So I'm back from a day out at Soho, and we got our slippers. So Muji's are the soft slippers, not the jersey one. But doesn't matter because it's soft, it's comfortable, it's Muji and it's 490. Where else can you find good quality slippers for 490? So go and get your slippers if you're in the US and you need some really good quality home slippers. It is really early right now. 
um, barely 8 a.m. because it's Rebecca's first day at work and it's gonna take like 20 minutes walk to her clinic. So for like the first couple of days, I'm gonna walk with her just to familiarize with the area and stuff. Hi. <laughs> Should I bring lunch? Uh, just in case. Right now it's a Wednesday morning, close to lunchtime because I woke up really early and I got really tired and I went back to sleep for like 2 hours. I decided to order myself some Popeyes. It's been ages since I had it. We used to have it in Malaysia if you guys recall. So what I got was the Surf and Turf Tenders Combo. It is fried chicken tenders with fried shrimp and of course my side is none other than the Cajun mashed potato. I really love the mashed potato with Cajun sauce. I usually don't like mashed potatoes because I feel like it's kind of bland. But Popeye's Cajun mashed potatoes was the start of my acceptance of mashed potatoes. So that says a lot. No, I did not choose tartar. So actually I chose cocktail sauce to go with my shrimp. But I guess I'm left with tartar. And I wanted to try blackened ranch. I don't know why it's blackened ranch. Apparently, there's um, the different kinds of pepper, like red, yellow, and green pepper. And just, I don't know why they call it blackened though. But I'll just try it. I love ranch. Yesterday night, I was craving for some fries, like really late at night. So I decided to get myself an extra side of Cajun fries. Mmm. I'm really glad we decided to bring some chili sauce um, because in the US or in many many parts of the world they are not used to having like dippings or like having sauces Sriracha does not compare. Sriracha is not bad but it has this like burnt or like hot like heat kind of spice which is just different. It's not like sweet chili sauce Oh my god, this is so bomb. Mm. I think blackened ranch is just more spiced. So you can smell the, the spice. I'm watching Indian Predator on Netflix by the way. I don't know if I should be watching like thrillers in the US because I mean, it's scary enough out there. But there's nothing else to watch. Nothing else makes me want to watch it. I did watch the Love is in the Air something. I didn't like it. Hi. It is Thursday afternoon and Rebecca's just coming back from work and we are gonna head out to um, somewhere in 5th Avenue near the Flatiron building. Just discovered there's this place called Ralph's Coffee which is opened by Ralph Lauren, the clothing brand. Oh my gosh, my leg is numb so it's very ticklish. What the heck? I can't move. Hi. Hi. I finally have some time to do a bit of unboxing of what my friend Yanshan gave me. So I met her on my first day in New York and she gave me this bag of goodies. She gave me a Charles and Keith bag, which I think I'm gonna use today. She said that it's really famous in Singapore and everyone in Singapore has it. She was like, she really needed to buy it but she has so many bags. So she bought it and gave it to me. What the heck? Very good logic, Yanshan. It also comes with an engraving and she decided to put name. That's the nickname that some of my friends call me. Usually it's just like no, because it's short enough. But other than that, she also gave me a card. She actually drew Central Park, Times Square and the Statue of Liberty. It's quite legit lah. Right before she came to New York, she was in Frankfurt, Germany. So she got me a couple of snacks. So this is the first thing. I don't know what this is, but mini truffle praline. Oh! Praline. More truffle and praline. Then she gave me this Giotto. I love hazelnut flavored anything, everything. And I think these are hazelnut. And it's like, you see, it's like tiny ass balls. Perfect snack. And she also gave me these Hanuta. Hanuta. 
What's Hanota? Hanota is like the, you know like the... What's the actor? This is like the music. Like the ah! What's that? Uh, what, wafer. Ah, the wafer thing. Okay, I'm just gonna eat one because I'm actually hungry. Hanota is like the expensive snack that we never get. She also gave me a hand cream. Because I guess she might be thinking that it's gonna be really dry here in New York. Two hand creams actually. Okay, so we are heading up now and I'm wearing the back with the shoulder strap. This is beautiful and delicious. I just don't know how to iron this properly. We are around Union Square and we discovered Banky. There! Unfortunately, they do not have the Italian hot chocolate. We have arrived at Fifth Avenue, so this area is filled with luxury shops. So it's like the entire street on both sides. But the reason why we're here is for Ralph Lauren's coffee place. It's called Ralph's Coffee. Here they also sell merchandise, which is really cool because it's all Ralph's Coffee and I love the green. So I read some reviews that their hot chocolate is really good and since I don't need coffee right now, I just got myself a hot chocolate and it comes with the freaking bear. <laughs> so we walked a little north and we are now at the flat iron building at the back. So the reason why it's called the flat iron building is because from the top view it literally looks like iron. But right now it is under construction so we can't really see it like properly. We want to go to Kazunori for dinner but it seems like there's a long queue. There was just way too many people at Kazunori So we are going for our second option which is BBQ chicken It's a Korean fried chicken chain Downstairs ah? So our side came first It's a really big bowl of kimchi But like I'm so hungry at this point that so I think I might finish the kimchi before the chicken even comes. Oh my gosh, our dinner is finally here. So here we have the golden original uh, boneless chicken. And this is the spicy galbi. This is just spicy sauce on fried chicken with sesame seeds and spring onions. Hi guys, it is Friday today and we finally got our delivery from... Oh my gosh, it's heavy! Yeah. HelloFresh! So Rebecca and I got some HelloFresh for like 4 meals just to try it out and also to save some money. We've always seen our favorite YouTubers have HelloFresh delivered to their place and we just wanted to try it out since, you know, we are in the US. And we just want to jump on the bandwagon and see what's the hype about. I really like the concept of HelloFresh or like Blue Apron. They already give you the recipes online and you get to choose uh, which one you want to switch it to. So that fits your taste buds and your preferences. And they will give you the exact amount of ingredients so there's no wastage. So Rebecca was in charge of placing the order and she went on Rakuten and found some really good cashback. So I'm going to shock you guys with one thing. So for our first delivery, of four meals, two portions each. It actually cost $35.90, but after cashback, it's only $5 something. It's cheaper than my meals in Malaysia, what the heck? Uh, we are not sponsored. We are looking to be sponsored, but we only have three weeks left. So the first thing that you see are the menus. So this is what we selected. There's the creamy chicken sausage and kale katatapi. Kavatapi. Kavatapi. The Italian chicken and pepper sandals. Firecracker meatballs. One pan Santa Fe. 
pork tacos. They will give you like the step by steps and exactly how to make your food. So even if you don't have experience cooking or you don't really know how to cook, this is what you can get. It's super easy. It's like cooking for dummies. So this is the box. Like they put all this insulation stuff so that it keeps it fresh. So they separated the ingredients that you need to ice. And isn't this super thoughtful because we all know we can get really forgetful. So these are the items that need to be in the freezer. We are right now at the US Polo shop. We just randomly stumbled on this shop in Times Square and it's actually really cool. They have all kinds of polo tees t-shirts, work dresses, and even like sweaters here. The price is really reasonable, like three polo tees for $60. One is already for $25, so that's a steal. This is our loot for the entire family. We are now in the Disney store, but at the home section. I love the design here because it's so not kiddie. It's actually quite like classy with like a Disney touch. This entire bowl set is $34.99. Oh, tiger, where are your manners? This is a Sleeping Beauty mug. So embezzled. They even sell a freaking cooker, a Mickey Mouse slow cooker, and a toaster. These are kind of expensive without discount, so I will wait until the end of my trip. This one too. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite pair of heels, except mine is the suede version. It's super comfortable. Look at these. This is a beauty. We've arrived back home and right now we are about to have our dinner. We wanted to make one of the recipes from HelloFresh but then we realized we have to defrost the meat and we're really hungry so we have no time for that. So we made our own dinner which consists of shin ramyeon, some leftover broccoli and also prawns and our BBQ chicken from last night with some kimchi on the side. Mm. Oh, so mm. They turn really good. So For drama stuff, I still love 90 Day Fiance yeah, before the 90 days. Mm. And uh, Stacy and Darcy. Mm, mm, mm. Darcy and Stacy. And uh, the Oppenheim one. Mm. Selling sunset. No, it's good. Mm. Is it good? Mm. 